Without a good table of contents, finding the right info in a blog is like a treasure hunt. But without the fun or the treasure. So today, I'll show you the easiest free plugin to add a table of contents for any type of design you like. And also add important features like making it sticky and making each heading clickable like this. We'll do all this and much more in just five minutes. That's how easy it is. If you're new here, my name is Rohan. We publish five videos a week for online businesses. So welcome to the channel. Let's begin. Okay, to add and customize our table of contents, we'll install a free plugin. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, then add new and search for easy table of contents. Then click install and activate. Okay, we'll install one more free plugin. Let's open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now, Airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down because people don't realize it, but even small sites with four or five plugins and a few products are generally too slow to load. So we built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new, drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it and your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs and you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it. So it's a good long-term tool to have. Then let's come back to our WordPress dashboard, go to the site panel, then settings, and you'll see table of contents here because we've installed the plugin. So let's click it. And now you'll see these options. Now we want to add this table to all of our posts. So let's scroll down to auto insert, find posts, and click here to select it. Then scroll down and you'll see this option for position. And this should be set to before first heading so that it shows on top properly. Then let's scroll until we come to this option of show as hierarchy and make sure it's ticked. And then from the counter option, we click the drop down and choose the hyphen option. Then you can scroll down till you come to the appearance section and you can change the width like this or scroll and change the font size or change the theme colors from here or customize the colors completely by clicking here. So you can easily make the table look really good on your website using all these options. When you're done, just scroll down a little until you find this option to make the table sticky and select it. So this will make sure your table stays on top even if somebody's scrolling. Then scroll down and click save changes. Now if we go back to our blog and refresh it, we can see that the table has been added. And if we click on the title, we're taken to that section. Now this table is in the center and we may want it to be on the left side as well. So to do this, let's come back, scroll to the bottom of the page and we'll find this short code. So let's copy that, then go to appearance then widgets. Then let's go here and click on the plus icon to add a short code block. Now let's paste the short code we copied earlier, hit update. And if I go back, I can see that the table shows on the side like this. Now, one issue you might face is that the tables will get added to literally all of our posts, but there can be some posts like this one where we don't want to have a table. So to avoid this from happening, let's go back, scroll down and find this option called limit path. Here we can paste the link of the posts we don't want the table on. So let's go back and select this last part of the URL, which is called the path line. Then come back and paste it here scroll down and save changes. Now, if we come back and refresh, we can see that the table is gone. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.